Greetings and welcome to Studio G. My name is Maurice and I'm your host. In today's video, we're going to be answering a quick question from a viewer. We're going to be covering some SNAP and food stamp news and some social security news. So if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. You're going to hit that bell icon so you'll know anytime I put out new content. So let's sit back and let's jump inside my computer for this video. Okay, so our question of today comes from Tammy Aprico. I hope I said your name correctly. Uh, and I guess she's from either Glendale, Arizona or Phoenix, Arizona. And her question is, when are us in Arizona going to get our fourth and fifth stimulus check because we are food and gas prices have gone sky high? Okay, Tammy, thank you for that question. I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Okay, and so the reason I picked this question out of all the people who asked me about different states is because I'm keep running to the same question over and over again. And that question is particular states that are not giving out money to their citizens. And so, uh, Tammy, Arizona, after I did a deep dive research, I don't see any uh, stimulus money or tax rebates for Arizonians and I did a video a while back about why some states give out more money than other states and your state is just not giving out money to its citizens for whatever reason I'm not sure why but Arizona is not giving out any money and as for as far as fourth and fifth stimulus check now we use that word those stimulus checks in the past came from the U.S. government. They didn't come from your particular state. And right now, there are no fourth and fifth stimulus check from the United States government on the table. Okay, so as far as your state, I'm not sure why they're not doing that. But I hope I answered your question. It's nothing on the table for Arizonans. To get any kind of economic relief okay and so the t the question from Tammy got me wondering uh, about the social safety nets that we have here in the United States which brought me to this story that I found on the Dayton Daily News you can go to DaytonDailyNews.com for this story and they're asking even though we got a big raise in Social Security food stamps and minimum wage is this enough and my answer to that will no it's probably not enough because when you give these particular raises out once per year they're not keeping with inflation because inflation changes month to month food is outrageous they gave a 12 percent increase in food stamps but you're not going to get it probably till next year. They gave a 8.7% 8, 8 raise in Social Security benefits, but you're not going to see it till next year when you need the money actually right now. So that's why a lot of people are having a hard time. And so these social safety nets that we have here, they are very good things. They're just not keeping up with what's going on in the economy right now, today, and tomorrow, and next week. Okay, so I just want to bring this particular news article to your attention to let you know, yes, we're, you're getting raises in all of your safety, social safety nets, social safety nets, and it's even a big increase in minimum wage. But it's not able to keep up when it, with inflation because the prices change day to day. Okay, so this brings me to the uh, emergency allotments for the PEBT. And I made a video a couple days about this uh, particular extension. And they have added some more states. I think the last time that I showed this uh, little chart right here, there were only 11 states. And so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 more states. Let's see, 5, 10, 
14, 18. 18 more states have been added to the acknowledged extension for November for the emergency alignments for PEBT. And those states are Alabama, Colorado, the District of Columbia, Illinois, Kansas, Maryland, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Utah, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Okay, so they, they have added more states. And this list keeps updating. So every time an update, I'm going to bring it you to your attention which states are added. You can pause this video and see if your state is on the list. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. If you want to send me your question, you can send it to me in an email or you can text it to me. Here are my credentials on the screen and you can either leave it in the comments. Now, whether I choose your question or not, that's, that's up to me at the time that I'm reading it. Um, but I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this particular video. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Hey, guys, real quick before you go, I want you to scroll down to the comments, and you're going to see this comment that I left. It's going to say Amazon, EBT, and Snap Access. You're going to click on this particular link, and it's going to bring you right over here to Amazon's EBT Access Point. And with Amazon Access Point, you can check your Snap Balance right here online. They will, you can shop and get your groceries delivered, or you can pick them up, and you get a wide selection of fruits, vegetables, poultry, and fish, also dairy and pro products. You also get a f almost 50% off some of your groceries, so it's a really good thing for Snap users who may live in a food desert or there are not a lot of grocery stores in your area so don't forget scroll down to the bottom to the comment section of this video and click this link right here that says amazon thanks again guys and have a great day